Uh, Rich Hill joining us now, head coach on ESPN Honolulu. Coach, thank you so much for joining us. It just shows that baseball is right around the corner with the schedule starting next month. But even before that, the great fundraiser that you guys have coming up on January 23rd. Aloha and good morning, guys. Yes. Uh, Aloha. We are excited, you know. And, <laughs> hey, so much has been said about uh, resources, right, at the University of Hawaii, as well as the landscape of college athletics. And you're right, man. January 23rd is coming up. It's a Tuesday night. Uh, that's our big, but we call it for the love of the game banquet, you know, and there's hundreds of people, great music, the food trucks, everybody's in. I mean, it's a, it's an awesome time. What's unique about this, uh, year's event, uh, Gary and Chris is Keone Duren, oh, uh, yes. local boy who's the, mm-hmm. hitting, yeah, you guys know him. He's the hitting yeah, sure. coach at the Royals and, uh, Brendan Segarra, local boy who is the director of pitching for the world champion Texas Rangers, you know, and uh, both those guys are going to be on stage with Scotty Robbs and uh, doing a fireside chat for about 20 minutes, all things baseball. What about the Rangers? What about the Royals stories? And I love, love to see local boys up there doing great things out in the, uh, out in the world of baseball. So that's kind of cool, but that's coming up on a, on a Tuesday night here in a couple weeks, man. And, We need resources, as you know. You know, I don't give a crap about where we are, who we are, this league, this league. Our boys deserve exactly what everybody else deserves. University of Michigan football, Texas baseball, Kentucky basketball. You know, we're not going to build a fence around what we think, you know, um, we should be here at UH. No way, man. Let's go for it. you, You guys have how many? You have tables still available or is it single seats at this point? Yeah, we have tables available. You can in just our website. You just click on that website, and if you're like me, if our listeners are on the H1 now, stuck in traffic, <laughs> uh, no, not that I'm. <laughs> when you get to the computers, click our website. You know, and, and you can get a ticket. Uh, it's a great place to bring. It's a family environment. You know, uh, man, and just you know, uh, sign up. All right, if you go to hawaiiathletics.com, go to sports, click on uh, baseball news, and you will find all the information uh, over there. And one of the things I love about yeah, the celebration. The website. It directs you right there. Easy. Cool. You know, all the players are there. You get to talk story. It's really informal, as you said. Do you know, Coach, about any, uh, about any of the silent auctions or actual auction items that might be available as well? That's always a fun part as well. Oh my gosh, yeah, Laleo Kinimaka, you know, he always had, you know, I love the surf <laughs> thing, right? So, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff, you know, like some uh, real iconic uh, type of stuff. Uh, a lot of baseball related uh, things. There's, there's uh, trips, uh, airline tickets, golf packages, wine uh, thing. I'm not a wine connoisseur, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that are. Um, so, yeah, all kinds of great things that, that you can bid on. And, you know, the main thing is you get these great things at, at a great price, but the proceeds are going to help, you know, our young people, you know, and really, really have a chance to achieve their dreams. Great deal for sure. Uh, we'll remind people as we get closer to January 23rd, a Tuesday night, as you said, and all the information that you said at mm-hmm. hawaiiathletics.com. And we also have talked about the schedule where you guys will start action. Uh, you'll have the alumni game on February 4th, but the regular season starting on the 16th. I don't know if there's any other school in the country that has a tougher opening two series than Ole Miss and NC State that like you guys have. <laughs> That's how we do it, man. Right? I mean, uh, there, there, how we it, do. It, it, there's a couple reasons why we do that. Number one is the fans here. They deserve to see, you know, that type of brand of baseball being played, you know. And, uh, you know, we're just, you know, very fortunate that Mike Bianco uh, and Ole Miss wanted to come. Elliot Avent is a, is a dear friend of mine at NC State, wanted to come over. Uh, so I think the fans really deserve that. It's a great RPI uh boost sure we like to play teams out of the west so there's no common opponents so there's a strategy to that and we can beat them you know i mean we've won nine straight here at the less you know that's sweeping three straight series in the in the big west 
very difficult for these teams to come in here uh, and and play well, a and then and then win in this type of environment. You know, we encourage them to get on that Waikiki beach, baby, and uh, <laughs> you know they get a little bit of sun, forget the sunscreen, and there's a lot of stuff to do at night. You know, so <laughs> hey, enjoy. Hi, <laughs> hide the hide the sign that says like Portuguese beware of man of war. You know, hide that sign. Kind of throw that in the bushes. Enjoy the water. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. We are talking with Rich Hill, baseball coach for the University of Hawaii here on ESPN Honolulu. Can you give us any insight as far as some of the new players that we're going to get accustomed to starting in February for this year's team? Well, I think, you know, what jumps out at, uh, at me right away is Itsuki Takemoto. You know, he's one of the top ten players in Japan. Uh, very, very bright young man. Uh, came over, uh, learned English, you know, within about six months and has really been impressive, uh, you know, so far in, uh, in, in fall workouts. Uh, Jake that's, that's pretty. That's pretty. Boy. That's pretty cool. Learning English because we're still working on that. Learning English. <laughs> Sorry, to yeah, interrupt. Go so on. am I right? <laughs> no, I'm glad it wasn't a math problem because I'd have a problem with that. But this, uh, you know, Jake Sukata out of Punahou, uh has really impressed. You know, he was at the University of Portland. We got him. Uh, you know, in the transfer portal. Um, so you know, I, I think those two guys, you know, have really, uh, you know, kind of stepped up, you know, and, uh, and been at the forefront of some of our, our newcomers. Hunter Faldo was really impressed, you know, local boy out of Mililani, uh, out of the JC ranks. So I, I think, again, you know, there's a real local uh, twist, you know, to our, our team, especially on the position player side. You know, I mean, it's um, about 80% local boys, so it's kind of cool. You did, I'm not sure if it was last year or the year before, but I remember you had it probably more than once or twice, a lineup that had all starters that were local players. Do you think that could happen this season? I certainly do. Yeah, I, I, I for sure do. I don't know about the, you know, the, the pitcher, um, you know, but they'll, they'll be times uh, most likely when, yeah, if there's nine local boys, you know, on the field, including the pitcher, you know, it's not something that I, you know, we, we sit down and draw up. You know, it just kind of <laughs> happens. And you know how the season goes. There's these ebbs and flows. And some guys are swinging about really well. And other guys go a little bit cold. But, you know, it, it, it definitely kind of will go to that side for sure. What about starting pitching? Have you gotten that down to where you know who might be your Friday night starter yet? Nope. You know, I'm from that Jim Harbaugh, Nick Saban school where the uh, the depth chart isn't really a thing. And uh, we don't really have to worry about that until, um, you know, that, that opening series. Now, pitching's different. You know, uh, it, it, you just kind of have to set that up a little bit, you know, much like spring training. So, hey, Randy Abshire is coming back for his mm. sixth year in college. You know, uh, he'll be one of those guys out there I, I feel very confident about feel very confident about our freshman All-American returner, Harrison Bodendorf, a real Chris Sale lookalike. Uh, and, and the fans are really going to love him. He's, he's gained about 10 to 15 pounds. Uh, our new pitching coach, Keith Zuniga, uh, is uh, just a beast, you know, with these, with these pitchers. He's great. Uh, Itsuki Takamoto, Connor Harrison, you know, is coming back. Uh, we've, Converted Nainoa Cardenas, you know, uh, the Kauai boy, to a full-time pitcher. He's He's been electric on the mound. So um, it's starting to, you know, kind of come into shape uh, a little bit. We're just focused, though, on, you know, on, on being great today, being great in the weight room, being great in our small groups. Um, that's a little bit far away. So you can't really get to the end result without immersing yourself in the process. And if I have this right, is this the last year of not having a Big West tournament before that'll start in 25? Correct. Yep. 2025 Big West tournaments uh, coming on the books. Do you know where that's going to be held, the first one? No, I don't. I don't know. There's some talk, you know, about, uh, you know, having it, you know, on a, on a campus. Um, but more than likely, kind of a neutral site, you know, okay. maybe like the California League Stadium. You know, when I was in the WCC, we went to Stockton, you know, where the Stockton Ports played. I, I'm a big fan of Las Vegas, the AAA ballpark there. Um, 
so th- throughout, you know, uh, the California League, you know, there's some there's some pretty cool stadiums, and I, I'm I'm pretty sure it's going to be a neutral site. Okay. Right on. Hey, Coach, thank you very much. We'll keep reminding folks about the fundraiser. Uh, go to HawaiiAthletics.com and uh, click on baseball for more information. Coming up January 23rd, tables are still available, or you can get uh, regular tickets. Uh, great entertainment, great stars, great things to au- uh, to win in auction. We appreciate you, and we'll talk to you before the season starts. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Oh, I love it, guys. Thank you, guys. Season tickets are going on sale, too, man. That thing's going to be sold out all weekend for Ole Miss, and place is going to be rocking, so I encourage everybody to, you know, the season ticket thing's cool because you can, you get to sit where you want to sit, you know what I mean? Right. And the price is, it, it, I think it's a little bit better, you know, um, throughout the whole season. But, hey, aloha to you guys. Mahalo as always. I, I love being on your show. All right. Hey, when do when do the season tickets go on sale? We lost them already. Uh, right. I think oh. so. What's that? Go ahead. No, no, no go ahead. No, you're right. No, I think it's January tw- January twenty fourth, the day after uh, the day after the for the love of the game coming up. Ah, okay, get them.